Today, an advertising tip on how to use filters within your advertising campaigns. Great tip if you've got lots of campaigns and you're trying to figure out where should I spend some time. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. This podcast is sponsored by Alpha Raven House. If you want to triple your daily sales by ranking your product to the top of page one at 10% of the usual costs and getting verified reviews along the way, they're your solution. Check them out at alpharavenhouse.com. All right, so I've got an item and uh, sometimes uh, advertising doesn't work as well as you're hoping, right? Or you've got a product and it's just a shoddy, shoddy product. This is one of those products, and it's the OK Boomer wine glass that I, um, that I sell. Um, so I, I sell these wine glasses as a side hustle, mostly to test things for my clients. And uh, I have this one on flash fire sale, if you will, at five bucks. Still can't move it. It's got a problem, right? So I've been looking at advertising and trying to figure out, OK, what could I do to get rid of this thing? Because I don't, I don't just want to destroy uh, the investment, this happens to everybody. You always have a dog product, something like that. And, and so, uh, I, I've got a quick advertising tip for you. This is going to work no matter what kind of products you're dealing with. So if you go into your advertising campaigns and you search anything you want, right? So I, I've put up boomer on the list here, right? And this is a, a silly, stupid meme joke, wine glass kind of thing. And, and so I've, I've got one filter set. This tip may catch you off by surprise. You may not know about this, but you actually can and filter with a secondary method or even multiple methods at the same time. So check out this list. There's so many filters that are here. Most of the time when people are, you know, working on their advertising, they just come in and are like, okay, a cost 20%, you know, okay, tweak this, make a bid change there. There are a lot more sophisticated things you can do to manage your advertising to make sure you're spending the most time at the best place so you can sell more products to more people more often for more money, uh, quoting Harry Joyner there with his infamous e-commerce quote. And so in here, let's say you just want to go through and figure out which product in your entire portfolio doesn't have enough impressions. So if you come in here and, and let's say it's got less than one impression, show me all campaigns that affects. Well, uh, and then you could use a secondary filter to say, hey, you know, instead of, uh, you know, a specific product, which I have here, you could do all kinds of different filters. You could say, okay, and I want to see something that doesn't have impressions, but also, um, has previously had some spend or, uh, you know, hasn't had any orders. You could do anything you want, right? And what's really cool about this is that it will allow you to go through, let's say you got like 100 campaigns on your account. You're a sophisticated advertiser. You got lots of data to look at. Well, this dropdown of filters is really, really helpful because not only can you uh, use a single filter, like go through and see, give me every campaign that's got less than one impression, because those are campaigns you definitely need to review. There's a problem with them. It could be that the uh, the ad is banned. Maybe you've lost the buy box. Maybe, uh, maybe the keywords aren't relevant. Maybe the targeting is off. Maybe you set up an FBA and a merchant fulfilled SKU, but you only set the ads up for the merchant fulfilled SKU, but your FBA is the one that's in stock or vice versa. You get the idea, right? So there's a lot of things that these filters can help you catch and it can help you figure out where your dollars are not being spent, where they should be being spent, but they're not being spent. So I highly recommend looking at filters like that. Um, on the inverse, you could also look at, um, you know, where your CTRs are low, right? So a click-through rate that is less than, uh, you know, let's say point uh, four zero percent and apply, right? So in this particular instance, I don't have anything with less than 0.4 CTR on less than one impression, but you could play with these filters to find uh, a combination that makes a lot of sense. And it'll allow you to make the advertising changes to your campaigns in a quick manner by finding um, problem childs, right? So uh, instead of just managing ads to ACOS, you should be doing some more sophisticated work. We do this at my Amazon guy on a daily basis. And we're looking for uh, ads or, or products that aren't performing as well as they need to. And then let's say that we see one that has a low conversion rate. Like there's a filter for conversion rate as well. 
and 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 then we go over to uh, our catalog team and say, hey, our our conversion rate is really bad, and we think the targeting is right, so it's probably the product page. So what's wrong with the product page? Do we need to change our our title? Is that the problem? Do we need different imagery? Do we have enough imagery? Uh, have you gone through and done your evaluation checklist to see? Um, all of the things that could come out. This is a Helium 10 Chrome extension that shows this. Not not really that important of a tool for this particular uh, thing I'm showing, but it does give you kind of a, a good five-second check. Does it have mo enough images? Is Are the images high enough dimensions? Does the title have a long enough character count? Uh, and they think 150 characters should be the max. Um, and does it have five bullets? Does it have EBC? Check, 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 check. And that gives you a quick evaluation score, 9.3 out of 10. Um, so they're saying, hey, this title should be longer. Now, I used to have a long title, and I just recently changed it because I'm testing some stuff out. But you can see it's got all the enhanced brand content. Everything's up and running, and it's in good shape there. So those are the kinds of things that you can do if you're thinking outside the box with advertising management. It's probably, probably the easiest thing to adopt today is go in and play with the filters. Check out those filters and see if you can catch something you weren't normally looking for. Don't just go for high bids. Don't you know? Don't just manage bids down or ACOS down. Come in and look for opportunities to spend more advertising dollars where it's not being spent currently, and it should be. And uh, if that's you know not part of something you want to spend or focus your time on, you should consider hiring a consultant like my Amazon guy. We uh, manage advertising for more than 65 clients, and uh, we're best in class. We're all Amazon advertising ad certified at my Amazon guy, uh, team of 15 here out of the Atlanta, Georgia area. We can help set up all kinds of campaign structures, everything from automated campaigns, brand campaigns, competitors, not just competitor brand names, but also their ASIN targeting, manual campaigns with highly segmented keywords that are, are going to find the best product uh, to, for the best keyword to the right consumer at the right time even defensive strategies to make sure you defend your territory so other sellers aren't getting on your listings and sponsored display targeting. Not only is there retargeting past purchasers and category and ASIN display targeting. If any one of those was a new concept to you, you are missing out on ad real estate on Amazon today. Go check it out on Amazon, myamazonguy.com. Really quick guide, seven areas you need to set up. It's free right on my website for you. But you should consider hiring us because we've got lots of sophisticated strategies um, behind the scenes that we set up to make sure your advertising dollars grow your account, but do so in a profitable manner. My name is my name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and I hope you consider hiring us to manage your ads. If you have any advertising questions or how to do anything within Seller Central, leave a comment on this video, and we'll definitely get around to answering you. And answer and feel free to subscribe and uh, check out our hundreds of videos on all things Amazon. Thanks for watching.